R&B musician King James has announced that the release of his seventh album, Oshozi, is scheduled for December 12th. The 17th track album comes after months of recording and shooting videos of the songs. Someone started a petition to stop Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith from speaking on their marriage. The internet is on a mission to silence Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith. Wendy Williams says she is doing fabulous as she leaves Miami Wellness Center. Wendy Williams stayed cozy in a luxe Versace robe as she gave an update on her health amid a hiatus from her talk show. Mm -hmm. Welcome yeah. to the information. <laughs> Did you just say yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I hate it, but it is what it is. So welcome to the information part, guys. We are ready to inform you, and I hope you guys are ready to be informed. So starting off with the first story on the local scene, obviously, R&B musician King James has announced that the release of his seventh studio album, Ushawazi, is scheduled for December 12th. So December, I told you guys, it's a blessed month. More yeah. blessings coming in. So the 17 track album comes after months of recording and shooting uh, videos of uh, the songs. And the Usho was the album track list includes uh, Ejo, that is one song. Ubanguke, Dagukumbe featuring Ahiel Ways, we already know that. Usho was the again. Udahwema, Habe Namba, Uhari, Uhari, Udahari, Uyumutima, Nyabugogo, Reka Gukurura, Chi. Chimbajira, hmm. Nishura, Nishure, Ichiniga, and Zaku Guma Iruhande, Pinene, featuring Bulldog, Hinduka, and Inshuti Magara, featuring Israel Mboni. So the album will be out in both audio and videos, among which were shot and directed by producer and director Lee Click when the singer traveled to the United States back in May. Uh, him traveling there for the music, but also for Medi's wedding. So uh, all but two songs in the Wukumbi featuring Ariel Ways and Wuda Huema on the album are brand new and um, the album is dominated by uh, love songs while it, while it is also uh, features a gospel song uh, which recorded with the gospel musician Israel Mboni. So Ushawazi means ability, ability to love is what makes the world uh, we live in better a better place and I want to communicate in my album that no matter what love still wins in the end uh, King James said. So gospel songs are common, uh, a common item on singer's album and the same applies uh, to his upcoming album. I rarely release an album without at least a gospel song that's why i approached i approached israel Mboni and we recorded one he explained so the album will be available on december 12th for five thousand rand is randy's money or rand and francs and people will be able to listen to the songs and watch their videos via uh, zana talent which is a, an app that he also launched at the same time a new online music distribution that he, the singer launched the same day he announced his uh, new album so according to king james however uh, zana talent comes as a huge financial boost because it creates a platform that can uh, help local artists uh, sell their music at a reasonable price so that uh, they can get uh, resources to record and more songs to deliver uh, to their audience that is uh, one thing that he actually got to launch but also telling us that he's almost uh, dropping an album that is going to be having seven, uh, 17 tracks on the 12th of December yes yeah. so I was also wondering because uh, he mentioned that he rarely drops an album without yeah a gospel song, song. Which other song has he ever dropped that hmm. is on the gospel line because i was trying to recall and i didn't remember to take me time but i think i mean this guy has uh, some gospel songs but you know it will take me time to yeah them. so we're very excited because he's back in the music industry you know uh, some people uh get lost because yeah. they're um uh in different um they're trying to find other means of uh, living or mm -hmm. trying to find other creative ways to, to, to entertain their fans. So you can see that uh, his time away was not in vain. Yeah. He, had, uh, he was preparing um, a different platform so that uh, he can be able to sell his music uh, thus him earning a living and also providing for the people a place to be able to listen to his music uh, in an organized and direct way. And King James never goes astray. I mean, love has already always been a center of his music mm -hmm. and whatever that he preaches. And he continues to, uh, you know, uh, say that love is always going to be a part of him. And it's going to be one of, the, you know, the things that I, are going to make up this album. So let's get prepared for so many love songs on this track. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. So moving on uh, to the next story uh more on the 
international scene so i actually took a look look at this story and i'm like these guys can never take a break they're always people if, are if, so tired if, if they're they not talk. attacking themselves people are attacking them yeah so in case you haven't already um got the gist of what story i'm talking about someone started a petition to stop will smith and jada pinkett smith from speaking on their marriage as in we are tired tay t-a-y-a-d we are <laughs> so apparently that is what people are saying so the internet is on a mission to silence will smith and jada pinkett smith apparently someone listed a dexter morales started a charge.org petition to hush the marriage couple and why would dexter do this well this person seems to be among online uh, users who are desperate to escape media headlines about their marriage that can't step, uh, stop um, escaping from uh, those headlines so what signs are saying according to the petition's details it was created on thanksgiving day since then, it garnered more than 1,900 signatures. The only descriptive words about the petition seems to be poor Will Smith, but the comments are definitely cutting up. So these are some of the comments that people went on to write. Everything I learn about this couple is against my will. Free us, KW from Mission Viejo, United States, brought. Another person went on to say, I'm sick and tired of hearing the BS that goes on in their personal lives. It's exhausting. I've muted their names everywhere and still see this. I'm sick of their weirdness. Make it stop. Mona Lisa went on to say i'm tired so tired i feel like i'm a part of their marriage at this point ivory jones added and another person also went on to say i've learned more about this family in the past three months than i have learned in the last 10 years tabi nia wrote so if you weren't aware, Jada, along with her daughter Willa, Willow and a mother, uh, Adrian Banfield Norris, host a show called The Raid Table Talk. The weekly Facebook watch series explores a range of topics with occasional guests from time to time, the entertainment industry and celebrity world. One of the biggest themes on the show is relationships, including Jada's once mysterious union with the Will. Entanglement. So uh, in July 2020, the couple revealed to viewers that they had previously temporarily separated. They also, to everyone's show, shock confirmed that jada had an entanglement uh, with august alcina the amazing r&b artist which he blasted to the public and it seems to folks to some folks that th these details about their private life haven't stopped coming since and they are very tired so in september of this year will told gq magazine he had also engaged in sexual relations with other people whilst married to jada then about a month later jada sparked another viral moment she explained she uh, had some challenges of maintaining a healthy bedroom life with will during the red table talk episode featuring Gwyneth Paltrow and to add on to this uh, Will Smith has recently re released a book mm, Will yeah, mm -hmm. and it's uh, some sort of memoir and it has it talks about everything exactly every, everything uh, it talks about a lot of his personal life his growth from uh, being a star at a young age a rapper a comedian an actor but also about his relationship with yeah. Jada and, and it also has uh, his dad's life exactly yeah. his dad's life and he has a lot of explicit detail about their marriage mm. which is something that we have noticed they too are very vocal about how they feel about how they feel about each yeah. other and you can see it's what they chose they know what they're exactly. doing and they know how much to let out they know how much to withdraw mm -hmm. and the thing is that this is what sells if you're trying to make a living if you're trying to put people into your life you do it in a certain way that you understand and so people say that they're tired but it's not the whole seven exactly. billion people on this earth if 1900 people are tired they're the ones that are tired it's their some, business exactly people are enjoying this scoop some people so these people we can't speak for the whole people yeah. but mm -hmm. it definitely made headlines these people who started a whole petition to silence these guys exactly i saw it you know on different social media platforms but we cannot deny the fact that you know there are some people being helped somewhere in the world you know maybe uh it, it comes as an inspiration of how they have overcome different things in their relationships but they are still together so don't speak because you think that they're giving content that you don't sure, like i like that angle because sometimes exactly. it can help people yeah. what they have overcome was you know if if we were separated i had an entanglement you also slept with some ladies but we can still overcome it and you know it, it helps a, a lady or a man who wants to get a divorce from a wife that has cheated on them because of different factors but then you, you can never be you know say that you know it's just too much for your ears or whatever but it's helping somebody in the process and the real essence of uh, the red table talk if you remember it was jada's uh, you know um initiative to actually be honest and talk to the yes. community about what happens in doing life something that, that people, most people don't exactly do. so it is what it is if you don't feel comfortable one one thousand nine hundred people are just if you it's not even 
a community. Mm -hmm. It's just... So for once we are defending Will and You Jayden. know, because yeah. it's their life at this point. And I'm sure they're not, they're not two years old. They know what they're doing. Exactly. So it's up to them. So mm, hash yourselves and don't hash Will and, and Jayden. Exactly. Yeah. So heading on to the next story, which is going to be our last. Wendy Williams is back after, you know, uh, several, you know, uh, health days conditions. and health conditions. People who follow the news closely know what I'm talking about. I know a few information about it, but I know you know a lot. You're going to help us through that. So Wendy Williams uh, says she is doing fabulous as she leaves Miami uh, Wellness Center. And uh, Wendy Williams stayed cozy in a looks Versace robe as she gave an update on her health amid a, a heat test from her talk show. And Wendy Williams' ongoing health issues have been a concern to her loyal fans. However, this 57th, uh, I mean, however, the 57-year-old says she's doing fabulous in a new brief video and uh, the Wendy Williams show host was filmed leaving a Miami well wellness center earlier this week where a photographer shared some well wishes for the new uh, Jersey uh, native in video uh, in a video published uh, by shade room so the video actually said i quote everyone does hope you feel better good luck to you the photographer can be hard uh, saying and as wendy replied thank you thank you very much he then asked are you uh, doing okay prompting her to reply wendy is doing fabulous before teasing the raise more wendy staff on the way in the future so the former radio host recently addressed her fans via instagram assuring them that she is making progress and that things are Talk, uh, taking longer than expected those are some uh, you know uh, uh, captions that were put on her Instagram uh, Instagram account of her show so how are you doing um, I miss you all that is uh, the statement read as everyone knows that my health has been a hot topic I'm making progress but it's just one of those things that uh, that's taking longer than we expected she wrote via her Instagram uh, November 10th so she continued I am a woman of, of a certain age and I know enough to listen to my doctors and I will return to my purple chair as soon as we all agree I'm ready. Wendy also said I want to thank all of my staff and all our guests, our guest hosts for stepping up and also stepping in while I can be there she said but her um being honest and saying that she's progressing is, is you know, is uh, hopefully giving some hope to the fans yeah. and even the people that she works with. So let's just wait and uh, she's going to come back when she's ready as she Yeah, said. I love her tagline, how you doing? Mm. That's, that's how she greets her people, her fans, her loyal uh, people. And um, I mean, the, the fact that at least the show, the, that statement, the show must go on. Mm -hmm. She has her guests, anchors, those who are taking over in the meantime as she's getting her health together. She, she's been battling with this health issues for some time now but at least she acknowledged the fact that she yeah. needed to get help and she took the initiative to take a, hi a hiatus from her show and be able to take care of herself is very important it's a lesson to the people out there exactly yeah. so yeah it is that from uh, the trends part it's just easy news for friday as we normally tell you guys